the most important factor other than time spent in the gym about how jacked and lean you're going to get is genetics. And it is a hugely, hugely important factor. And so you, you have to understand that your goals have to be referenced to what your genetic likelihood of achieving them are. The only way you'll find that out is if you work at it for a while and see what happens. But some people work at resistance training for three years. They'll accrue five pounds of muscle, burn three pounds of fat, and they'll be like, this next year, I want to gain 10 pounds of muscle. And you go, whoa, that's not how hyperbolic curves and asymptotic curves work. You got it backwards. If in three years, you gain 10 pounds of muscle, in the next three years, maybe you can gain five. That's realistic. Does not work in reverse. So it's really, really important to contextualize multiple qualities. One is how much recovery and rest and relaxation time do you get compared to work and being underslept? Another is genetics. And the other is age. And so if people say, I want to get more jacked, and I've, the reason I'm ranting about this, uh, Peter, is because I've had many clients who were willing to put in whatever work it was going to be necessary to put in, 